gonna have to slouch back in my chair because this tripod is really short. Um, but hello, please don't mind the mess behind me. It's just my closet. Um, and I feel like I look like a mess, but let's just ignore that. Um, I really just wanted to talk about this sketchbook spread. It was a very all over the place, not very planned or organized or very clean. It's just sort of um, my way of just trying to get back into sketchbooking again because honestly, I've been doing a lot of digital art lately and I feel like I've sort of lost my traditional art touch or sort of, I don't know, I've just really missed working in my sketchbook and working traditionally. Um, and so I've been trying to work in my sketchbook more as a way of warming up and sort of um, giving myself permission to be messy, to be imperfect and just have fun. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with just like playing around with this. Um, I've been really liking this color scheme lately pink and green um and so i decided to draw some radishes i don't know if you can tell if they're even radishes but no that's fine <laughs> um we're just having fun so yeah i feel like i've just sort of been a little bit fearful of my sketchbook lately which has been really weird because it didn't used to be like that so Obviously the way you conquer your fear is just like facing it head on. So that's what I've been trying to do is just like tell myself to just have fun with it and just create. Um, and then one thing that also motivates me is to actually turn on the camera um, because I feel like when I turn on the camera and I film, it's like, okay, I have an obligation now to kind of finish this um, and not just like start it and leave it unfinished but actually see it through because i can't let you guys down you know like i am filming for you guys so i have to like follow through and actually uh finish what i start yeah we'll see how this develops and continues i'll continue to document this um and film it for you guys um and then i know that i don't always show a lot of my digital work as well um i usually just kind of show little snippets here and there I can probably show you what I've been working on for right now. It's just a very messy sketch. Um, but I wanted to kind of do something like summer related. Um, I drew those little popsicles art, which I'll pop on the screen here. Uh, but I wanted to do something a little bit more summer related. So I decided to kind of do like a hiking adventure themed little piece. Um, I've also made this cake illustration. Uh, probably can't see that because of the glare, but hopefully you can see it a little bit. This was really fun to work on and I, as you guys know, I love to draw fruits, food, treats, anything like that. Um, it's sort of my favorite um, subjects to draw. So yeah, I feel pretty motivated this week to create. Um, last week was a bit of a chaotic week for me. Um, I really thrive off structure and routine, so I really hope that I can have a better week this week and hopefully filming this will help me to keep myself accountable and yeah, just be as productive as possible but also have fun creating and making art and documenting the process for my friends, you. <laughs> yeah, thanks for tuning into this very random clip. Um, trying to get more comfortable with talking to the camera but I think I've talked too long so I love you guys and I'll see you in whatever clip is next.
Okay, going to do a little bit of a mic check because I have this little lapel mic, I think it's called, and I'm going to test if the audio is going to be better. Okay, so I'm going to try this out. Um, hopefully I don't hate it. If I do hate it, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. But I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I just got back from a pretty big trip. Um, where we went, me and my church, uh, went to St. Louis for this really big conference. So I just got back from the trip, um, this week. So I'm back now in my little studio space and it's Tuesday, August 1st. So it's the very first day of August, which means I have about three weeks left of my summer break before I head off to my last semester of college ever. So I'm definitely trying to make the most of these next three weeks had to change my SD card there uh, but yeah so I have three weeks left so I'm trying to make the most of it by creating lots of art as much as I can before the busy semester starts um, which is exactly what I wanted to talk about in this clip so as soon as I got back I went straight to Michael's um, to pick up some new Tombow colors and I'm trying to grow my Tombow marker collection because I as you guys know from my last couple videos, I mentioned that I'm trying to ease my way back into sketchbooking and painting again because it's been so long and I've sort of built up this fear around painting. Um, and so I've been trying to ease my way back into painting again. So I think markers are a great way to do that um, because they're very easy to work with. You don't have to use water, you know, it's just super portable, you can carry this wherever you go. So I really love working with markers and I really want to implement them more into my art practice. Um, so I'm trying to grow my color collection and I got some fun colors that I'm going to show you guys. So I got these colors right here. How am I going to do this? Uh, yeah, okay. So I got all these fun colors. I got a red, a light blue because I didn't have a light blue color and this very pretty almost like periwinkle slash violet blue color um, this light pink um, and these two green colors that I didn't have in my collection um, so yeah I think it's such a cute color palette so I'm excited to play around with this today and I'm gonna show you guys that in my sketchbook um, so yeah I really love getting new art supplies, right? <laughs> Gonna grab my matcha, my Tombow markers, and my sketchbook, and let's do some art. Thank you. 
So I finished my sketchbook session, which took really long. Um, and I'm just gonna show you guys what I have. So <laughs> this is it. Um, obviously not my best work, um, but that's okay because I went into this knowing that it was completely experimental and I think sometimes I forget that that's what my sketchbook is for, it's just to experiment and play around with things. So this is the finished pieces. Obviously I'm not really used to working with the marker so it's still a learning curve. Um, but I find that they can smudge quite easily, so do be careful if you are using these, uh, just be mindful of that. And I think overall, <laughs> some of the colors that I got did not really turn out the way I thought they would. You know, like swatching them in store and then actually using them in my sketchbook, I'm like, that looks different for some reason. Um, but alas, it's... It's over, it's done. Yeah, so if I could change anything, I would definitely change up the colors, especially on this one. Um, not really the colors I was going for. And on this one, don't really like it. But yeah, it's okay to hate your own work. It's just me practicing, me experimenting here. Um, and I think that's important. Um, and obviously when you are trying out a new medium for the first time or you haven't really used it much it takes a lot of trial and error before you kind of get to a happy place with it so i think that's kind of where i am with markers right now but yeah uh on this one it was really experimental for me because it was sort of like using negative space um to fill in the composition especially with the flowers here so i think that was fun to play around with and i definitely want to keep practicing that yeah, overall it was a good sketchbook session and moving forward, I definitely want to try and implement more markers. One thing about working in your sketchbook, sometimes it takes a lot of courage. Like you have to build up your courage to like take out your sketchbook and allow yourself to experiment and try new things. But when you start to get into it, you almost want to keep going. Like I want to try this next, I want to try that next. It's sort of how it felt like with this. And so that's why I think this took so long and I'm just like so motivated now to just keep exploring and fill up the sketchbook with trying out new things. So if you are struggling to work in your sketchbook, I hope this somewhat motivates you. It might not always turn out how you want it to, but like that's exactly the point. Like you won't get better unless you allow yourself to practice and allow yourself to make mistakes and grow. All right, with that being said, I think I'm finished with filming for the day and thank you guys so much for sticking around and uh, keeping me company while I worked in my sketchbook and I hope you guys are having a great day.